Hi there, welcome to um, a tutorial that we're going to do on how to host your own website um, from your own PC live on the web. Um, this may be more than one part because I'm going to be um, teaching you how to use a certain program called WAMP Developer. Um, these ones, the free ones like uh, Examp um, and WAMP, they're great, but um, they lack a lot of features that WAMP Developer has. Okay, to get WAMP Developer, you're going to need to go to the, this address here, um, which is devside.net. Um, they make the program. Uh, if we just go there. Okay, so this is WAMP Developer Pro. It is a purchase program. Okay, it's $129, but you can download the full version with a 30 day time limit. Now I have a registered version but what I've done is I've taken the serial number out um, everything like that. Um, what you can do is you'll see if I try and launch it it'll tell me that my product is now expired. Okay I've used the 30 days and it won't let me close or anything like that. It wants me to register so I'm just going to kill it through this. It's very, very easy to crack this program. I will show you now. Uh, just find WAMP Developer. There we go. Right. If you go into your registry, um, you go to HKEY Local Machine Software WAMP Developer V4. Oops. Don't. Okay. So I've got it open here. There's two ways you can do this. You can either go to your date and change your date to a future time, like if I change this to 2015, that's its install date. So if I run it now, there we go, I've got 1,395 days of trial left. Um, but there's also something else you can do is you can, let me just change this back to 2011. Right. Okay, so if I try run it now, again, it'll tell me that it's expired. Okay, there we go. To permanently get rid of the activation problem, in your in the in the same registry cre key, um, create a new value, a string value, and call it serial. Okay, for your serial, put in anything you want; doesn't matter. Close it down. Now when you boot WAMP Developer, it's registered. There we go. Okay, so now that we've got that done, <coughs> um, basically once you've downloaded it, you're just going to run a file. Um, it installs itself. You don't have to worry. Um, best to install it either on your C drive or your D drive in the root directory. It'll create a directory called WAMP Developer. Um, I've got mine at the moment for this tutorial on the C drive. There it is there. Okay, um, and pretty much it's a very cool program. Oops, if you open it here. Okay, you've got your, you can uh, incorporate Tomcat, you can incorporate ISS, IIS, sorry, as well. Um, it gives you information like what your um, IP number is on the network, what your public IP number is everything like that. you got easy access to PHP My Admin. Um, to add a website, it's so simple. You say create new website. I'm going to call this um, www.tutorial.tld. I'm going to create a domain alias of tutorial.tld. Okay. Um, and just put the cache accelerator on and then you just say continue and you just wait until this says that it's been added and it's online there we go so if I now click on it and I click on website there we go tutorial TLD homepage it works so that tells us that it's working okay so now that you've got your Apache your MySQL your PHP all set up okay there's a few things you need to change so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut down my Apache Okay, right. You want to go into your WAMP developer and you want to go to config PHP P 
PHP INI. Okay. The first thing you want to search for is you want to search for short open tag. Okay. So you control F, put in a sh you can just put the word sh uh, the word short in. That's enough. Um, it'll search for it. Uh, find next. There we go. Um, originally that's set to off. You want it to set on. Okay. What that is a short open tag is um, for PHP. You can either start PHP like that, or you can start it um, like that. Okay. Um, if you don't have short open tag on, it doesn't recognize that as the beginning of PHP. Um, and you want that a lot of script writers still use the short open tag. So you've changed that. And the next thing you want to look for is post max size. Okay, um, this is the uh, maximum amount of uh, data that's allowed to be posted. I normally change this to 1024. Okay, and then you also want to search for upload max file size. This is how much, you know, like sometimes when you're on, uh, especially if you've got free hosting or something, your maximum upload is like between 2 to 5 megabytes. Well, this is where you change it. So I'm going to change that to 1024, so I can upload a gigabyte at a time. Okay. And then the last thing you want to search for quickly is your mail function. Okay. This, a lot of people don't know about this. Okay. Here's your mail function here. Um, you, can, you don't have to um, install a mail server at all. Uh, what you can do is you can use your pop mail server. So I'll use mine, which is mail.cyberhost.me. Okay, that stays the same. Send mail from, you've got to take that little mark out of there, and it's coming from admin at cyberhost.me. Okay, once you've done that, you can save everything. Okay, we've now changed uh, everything that needs to be changed, you can close that. Then you can restart your WAMP developer. Okay. Um, I just want to make a quick PHP info. I'm going to put this into my subdirectory. That's if I created it correctly. I always get confused. Uh, oops. Websites. Default website. Reboot. PHP.php. So now if I go to local host I got PHP dot PHP there we go so there's my info and um, if I look for um, max um, or let's say upload okay uploads are on uh, 20 uploads at a time there we go, there's the limit, 1024 megabytes. So we know that's working. There's my SMTP. So we know that's working. So